Well, most of you are probably thinking, just show us what's in the boxes already! Well, I don't think I will with an attitude like that. Settle down now? All right. I'll talk with my inner child, you talk with yours, but let's keep it on the low down, the level. All right, let's check out what's in box one, though. All right, check it out. The world's coolest flashlights. The cool part about each of these flashlights is neither of them needs any batteries. Here's how the first one works. This one has a really strong magnet that when you shake it back and forth through this coil of wire, create electricity. The energy from that electricity is stored in the capacitor and then dumped into the flashlight. This flashlight works by making a circular magnet spin past these two coils of wire. Now once again this spinning magnetic field creates electricity and the energy goes straight to the light bulb. Each of these flashlights has the same purpose to make light. Neither of them requires batteries and both of them illustrate beautifully just like the power plant. Virtually every concept that we're going to be studying in electricity and magnetism. The challenge though is this. These flashlights represent a lot of concepts strung together. These are end products. It's hard to study E&M by looking at end products. We need to take these pieces, smash them into their fundamental components, and then study each one in turn, and then string them together to once again look at the end product. And that's exactly what we need to do first. Smash these things into their fundamental components. Not literally, that was a figurative statement, okay? We're not smashing flashlights here, but we're breaking down the components one at a time and studying them from there.